Hello guys, uh, in today's video I'll be showing you the Oct hyperelastic model for the finite element analysis. Oct model is a very generic hyperelastic model, can be used for modeling the mod many kinds of materials such as rubber, polymer, and even the biological tissues. Uh, Oct has different kinds of firms based on the order. So uh, it could be from first order to uh, many number orders. Uh, the most commonly used order is third order octet model. So today in this video we will use the third order octet model. Let's look at uh, the WSIM application we already opened on the desktop. It's 1.9. And let's create a new project and start a new material. Click the build tab and go to the hyperelastic section. And we have uh, octet first, second, and third order. These three hyperelastic models available. So we choose octet and third. So uh, there are totally nine parameters that we parameters we need to input. So the first the parameter mu one, uh, since we already have the data, uh, it's point ninety six megapa. And the alpha one is dimension this parameter, so we'll give the 1.3. You know that uh, the uh, multiplication between mu1 and a1 must be positive number. So this doing this is for uh, guaranteeing the stability of the algorithms. So we need to make sure this number both positive or both negative. It cannot be one positive or one negative. That won't. Uh, help for the solving of the, the entire model. The second mu b point zero one make power and the alpha two is four mu three is negative point zero one two two make power alpha three is negative two. Uh, for the incompressible ability uh, parameter, we get to just, just set it point 0.1. Point 0.1. Okay. Here we go. And this material is defined. Let's change the name to octane third order. For the geometry, we impose a very simple geometry like rubber bladders can be used for the door of the vehicle to seal in the air. Okay, assign the octane third order material to this geometry. Let's mesh. Okay, then for the boundary condition we're gonna apply a constraint and a pressure. Constraint, we select uh, both left and right. You can press the control or shift keys and select the two surface. And for pressure, we're gonna impose on this side. I said uh, the magnitude of the pressure is 0 0.005 megapa. Okay, since a nonlinear analysis, let's set a 10 for the sub-steps. So we're going to have 10 sub-steps to solve this model. And click the Solve button. In the output window, we can see um, the nonlinear Newton solver is working now. And we see it's converging. We get a residual value smaller at each iteration.
Yeah, in about uh, less than one minute, you get the result. So let's uh, add a result and take a look. So deformation, we we'll want to see this on Z direction. Check the last step, double click, and we can evaluate it. So uh, the max deformation is about 4.8 millimeter. If you want to look at deformation, uh, the contour, so it's like looks like this shape, stress. Uh, the maximum stress is on the con very close to the constraint area. So if you look at deformation, it's kind of nonlinear curve. This curve is looks like. Okay. So this is uh, how we use the octon third order material for the rubber-like simulation. If you have any comments or concerns or questions, please let us know. Thank you for watching. Bye.